The Olin Chemical Superfund site is located in Wilmington, Massachusetts. Wilmington is an old New England town first settled in 1665 and located about 20 miles north of Boston. With the construction of major interstate highways after World War II, Wilmington's population quadrupled. The boom quickly changed the town from a sleepy farming community to a prime location for the expanding chemical and defense industries. South Wilmington was designated a general industrial zone and the town welcomed the new tax revenue base and its jobs. In 1952, National Polychemicals broke ground at 51 Ames Street and constructed many labs, offices, and structures to manufacture specialty chemicals for the rubber and plastics industry. As the facility grew and production increased, the company dredged wetland streams into ditches and created lagoons and ponds for their waste. Sediments from the ponds were stockpiled as well. Chemical manufacturing continued at the site under various owners, including Olin Chemical, which acquired the property in 1980. Olin's operations continued until 1986 when it was shut down and abandoned as a manufacturing site. Shortly after that, the site came under the state's regulatory authorities and investigations began to identify specific contaminants of concern. By the mid-1990s, both Olin personnel and Wilmington water officials grew increasingly concerned that an underground plume of contaminants had been drawn into the adjacent aquifer, but none of the chemicals identified posed a known threat, and no one was certain that the former Olin site was the sole source. In 1999, mothers on the western side of the town began to worry about an unusually high number of children being diagnosed with cancer in their neighborhood. They asked the local Board of Health to request an investigation by the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. The local town board denied their request. Undeterred, the parents, with the assistance of their state representative, directly petitioned the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, and then reluctantly, the local board signed on as well. Two years into their initial investigation in 2001, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health determined there were elevated cancer rates in Wilmington accompanied by an unusual pattern of childhood cancer. This warranted a full epidemiological health investigation with a case control study. The thought of a cancer cluster caused alarm throughout the community. Mothers took the lead seeking answers. Over the next several years, three main initiatives grew out of the initial panic and confusion. One group began to facilitate health matters between the families with cancers in the Massachusetts Department of Public Health. A second group of town officials and concerned residents joined with representatives from nearby Woburn to ensure that the town of Wilmington hired an independent environmental consultant to investigate the Olin property. A third group met regularly with the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection to evaluate a number of contaminated sites and their possible impact on the town's water supply. Together, these three core groups kept the public's attention focused on figuring out the cause of the contamination and identifying the parties responsible. In 2002, at the insistence of several moms, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection finally ordered Olin to sample several of their monitoring wells for the cancer-causing neutrosamine known as NDMA. That October, Wilmington's Water Department declared a water emergency when nitrite levels spiked at the town's water treatment plant as a result of high levels of ammonia being drawn into the municipal wells. The crisis was short-lived, but evidence was mounting that contamination from the Olin's property was a major problem. In the meantime, Olin has found several prospective buyers for the Superfund site, much to the town's people's consternation. Olin rushed to get state approval in 2000 to construct a slurry wall and create a huge containment area around the lagoons to prevent the most contaminated groundwater still remaining on the property from further migrating off property. But this deal fell through for a giant warehouse with acres of parking lots on the site. Soon after, New England Transrail contracted with Olin to purchase the property for a reel-to-truck transfer station. The town vehemently opposed the plan over concerns about the potentially hazardous commodities to be transferred there, as well as the adverse effects of having many trucks and trains on the site. The Surface Transportation Board continues its review of the Transrail Company under a revised plan. In March of 2003, Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection and town official announced 
that NDMA had been confirmed in four of the town's five wells in the Maple Meadowbrook Aquifer, and all five wells were shut down. State and local officials continued to work with Olin, but now at a much more urgent level, routinely sampling private wells for NDMA and connecting the town to a major water supply system servicing municipalities in the region. However, as Olin's responsibility and culpability grew, Olin became less responsive to requests and demands for more to be done. In August 2004, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection requested that the site be considered for a listing on the EPA's national priority list. The EPA officially took over in 2006. In March 2021, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health finally issued its Wilmington Childhood Cancer Investigation results. Complex computer modeling was required to plot the NDMA contaminant levels delivered to individual homes over time, including both town's piping and the movement of groundwater. This data provided the necessary historical record for the NDMA exposure. This long-awaited epidemiological study concluded there was a positive association between the childhood cancers and the NDMA prenatal exposures in the drinking water. This study was the first in the nation to associate NDMA and drinking water with childhood cancer. The affected Wilmington families were unusual in their collaborative response. They proposed that a trust fund be created by the responsible parties that would collectively provide for the children's health and care and educational needs. This cooperative solution avoided lawsuit and has served the community well over time. EPA issued a partial record of decision in September 2021 for the Olin property itself and for sediments and surface water off the property. The record of decision also laid out an initial plan for the removal of the most highly contaminated groundwater. As of 2022, the Justice Department is reviewing this decision and is negotiating with potentially responsible parties to fund the proposed cleanup actions. Additional investigations to determine the full extent of groundwater contamination and how far NDMA has migrated from the Olin property to the surrounding area are still ongoing.